everybody. Thanks for stopping back by Wild Bird Creative. I have my August journal here and my Stencil Girl product stencil. And I can actually see that it says L209 on it. Sometimes they've gotten so cruddy I can't see anymore. It just makes it a little hard, but it can be hard to keep the edge of those clean. And when they get cruddy, they get cruddy. So I'm using a color box chalk pad here and just coming in and just starting on the background. I didn't want paint today because I'm going to be covering this up and I'm going to be working quickly before I go start dinner. This is more just to give my background some interest. And using a little makeup sponge is great. Yes, sometimes it'll give you lines, but it's okay. Especially if you're going to be covering it up. And that's just what I'm getting. Just getting a nice bit of detail here in this light purple. little bit along here just make an irregular edge there I don't want it to be too too perfect there we go and I'm gonna come over here and shift it around a little bit and do the same thing and it'll show up a little differently on this gray this nice tweedy scrap of paper it absorbs differently than the mixed media But just keep your mind open. And you can see it just gives me it's an absolutely different shade. It's much moodier on this side. So there we go. I've just got some detail there. Nothing terribly involved. Nothing messy. Let me set this aside. And now I'm just going to start layering things up. Just having fun. It's been another long week. You know, you think you finish a week and the next week is going to smooth out some and sometimes it just doesn't. So let's put this here. That's a nice pop of graphics against that and then I think what I will do is just tear off this little bit on this other piece tidy it up just a little and then stick this down on the other page just gives you a little bit of balance and I'll put it right here towards, towards the middle. There we go. Smooth them out. Now I've got over here in my stash another Stencil Girl stencil that I'm thinking I'm going to use it at some point. I'm thinking it would look really nice with this, but right now it's too bold. Let me dig through my, my papers here and see what I have. Ooh, I like this. This has a nice bit of the purple and the blue. Move it around until I like how it looks. And this is just a piece of the newsprint that they wrap things in for shipping or if you go to home goods and buy something breakable that's all this is and it's a wonderful surface to work on because it is very forgiving and it's got that nice aged look to it now let's see just take a little bit off the edge here I don't want it to get too close to the gutter Go. 
so now I've tied in that background purple into this layer, which I like. And I'm just going to keep digging through my box here and seeing what looks good to me. And this is just a piece of paper that I used to repeatedly clean off my gel plate. So it's got some some grungy layers and some fun. And I've stamped on the back of it. Put it right, right there. Let's see, I've got an orange piece here. I've got a very bold green, which is not at all what I'm looking for. But I'm just going through and looking at all my options. And you know what? I kind of like this. I'm going to just grab my paper punch and just get some circles out of this. There's a couple right there. I love this bright, bright orange against those other colors. And I've got a tinier one. I've got one that's one and an eighth and one that is seven eighths of an inch. So I've got a few options for sizes there. And I'm just making random punches. Again, nothing, nothing fussy. There we go. So now I've got three for this side and a scrap that has landed there. And I think that is where I'm going to place them. Oops. This is a very simple piece just to get my mind on creating having some fun, enjoying my time in the studio. And I'm gonna add a couple more things on top of this, just because I wanna use a little more orange in here. Put my lid on this, let me grab my orange uh, stamp pad, here it is, Distress Oxide, and my Art Foamies. And the one I want is little, and it's just some circles. And I just want to load this up and just add just another little pop of color. And these are great to use because you can easily line them up just by looking at them. They're very forgiving. And let's see, how about one right there? That's enough of those. Bring in my Versafine and another Art Foamy, and this is just X's. And this one is actually wearing out. I have used it so much that the little X's are almost all worn off. But it gives me enough detail to get through. And for my last one, looking in here again, using the same Versafine, this is just like a scribble, and I'm just going to put it along the edge here, just because that area felt like it needed a little oomph in both these spots. 
me get all these set aside so that I take them upstairs and gently, gently wash them and pull over my words just kind of sort through. I just have a whole bin here. I went through some magazines and some books. And let's see what I can find as I dig through here. Well, I do like this one, but boy, is it the wrong color for that. So let's see. Let's look at... Hmm, Thoughts is nice. Better trust. Hmm. You know what? I think it's going to be trust. And I just want to tidy this up a little bit when I'm cutting them from magazines. I just kind of make sure that I have enough space around them so that I can trim them up a little bit when I want to use them. Let's get rid of that. Let's decide where I want to put this. Hmm, decisions, decisions. This can sometimes be where I get bogged down. Okay, I'm just going to put it over here because I feel like that area needs just a little something. So there it is, under 12 minutes. I've got a page made. I want to be careful because the orange ink takes a little bit longer to dry. But I got a nice little page. I've used up more scraps. That's kind of my goal this month is to keep chipping away at my accumulated backgrounds. But I hope you will get your supplies, use some up, make some new backgrounds, and just have fun. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Wild Bird Creative.